Hello, my lovely Leos. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun Moon Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Hope you all are doing well. Okay, we have cycle decrease with the loving man. So someone feels bad uh, for holding their feelings back or hiding something, a piece of information here that they should have expressed to you, should have been honest. I replay your conversations over and over. I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, somebody is definitely rethinking things here. Analyzing the past. Overall energy, Ace of Cups. This is about new beginnings, a new phase of love as well. Being able to open up and express emotions freely so let's see what's going on in your energy this week we have the lovers we have the star card and the six of pentacles so you might have been caught up in a situation here in your love life where it felt like you both were two worlds apart or just seemed near impossible to be with them in the 3D realm due to outside circumstances or what this person has done in this situation. They just made things near impossible and I see you healing at this moment, really taking things in and nurturing uh, yourself, giving yourself some uh, love as well. But I see when it comes to fun finances, uh, things are going to start looking up. Within this next six months, there is a projection here of you feeling more balanced and feeling like you're getting what you deserve for how much effort you put in, but also being able to do some things that you desired to do for a long time. So we have some good things coming and uh, you are being blessed by the universe here with the star card. So we have the Queen of Swords, the Fool, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Devil, and the Strength card for what they're doing. They are having a tough time holding back. They have been in an assessment period, really overthinking things here with the Queen of Swords, Fool card, realizing that they were foolish. They made some risky moves when it's come to you and realizing that they have to leave this behavior behind or have this mindset of uh, focusing on stability, healing, but also being the person that is consistent. Okay, tell me the devil's strength. They are, they are overcoming these challenges here with the strength card of, uh, you know, getting down on themselves, feeling like uh, they really put themselves in a pickle, ruined things because they haven't been honest. They haven't expressed something here. But with the Four of Swords, Queen of Wands, they know that they only have a certain amount of time to wait uh, before they try to heal things here or get forgiveness. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. We have the Sun card, Ten of Wands, and the Tower. So in the past, things got really heavy, really hard. Uh, it was difficult to be in this situation with them. There was a lot of outside circumstances going on. It's also showing this person had a lot on their plate, or you did, uh, where it seemed near impossible, like more responsibility was being put on this connection uh, as a whole, and therefore it was not built on a, a good foundation here, and things started to kind of lose control. It looks like uh, things broke in a way that was very unexpected. This outcome uh, was something that kind of shocked you both. But I see with the Sun card, uh, both of you are very aware when you got in the situation, what was happening, that there were uh, some obstacles that you would have to overcome, but that you both were on the same page, you would be able to overcome it together. With the Four of Cups, Queen of Cups, I see that uh, somebody rejected the other or kind of ghosted in a way. Okay, there's been some separation here and it feels like things have been left unsaid. Somebody gave up uh, before they could take responsibility for their actions and be able to open up honestly. I see that this person was running away from expressing their emotions here. Okay, and not really giving in to uh, them needing to do what they need to do, which is be responsible, even though it's hard to speak their truth. And even though they may disappoint you, they have to deal with it. Uh, tell me the Ten of Wands. We have the World card. There could be distance between you two as well. 
physically. Uh, justice and the magician. It's a very faded event. So the universe was co-creating here. Okay. Things were very unbalanced. You're being treated in a way that was neglectful. But this person started to drain your energy, drain your emotions, and uh, making you feel very stressed out in the situation because uh, the universe was kind of pushing them to do the right thing, to speak the truth, gave uh, ample opportunities for them to do this, and they ran away each time. And so the universe finally put a stop to it, and this is the time where they need to learn a really tough lesson here. It's like since... Uh, this situation has ended or there's been a separation here. Some final decision had been made and uh, it was pulled from underneath you. It's like you had no choice. Uh, the universe definitely pushed this person to finally learn and see what it's like to feel what you feel in this connection. Uh, so they are uh, having a mirroring effect and understanding your feelings. And it was almost like an aha moment here, a shock to them. Page of Cups. Yeah, they love so deeply. They they feel very sensitive inside, but they don't like to portray that. They don't want you to know that they're not tough. It's like this person has an idea. If you express your emotions, then you become soft and people will run over you. And it's not that good to be vulnerable with someone uh, because then people can take advantage. And it's just their belief system in love. And they didn't want you to look at them in that way. And this person feared the worst of really, uh, you know, telling you the truth, what was on their heart and mind. And instead, they chose to run. Six of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Temperance, Eight of Swords, and we have the King of Cups. Okay, so in the challenge, yes, them holding back, they know more than anything that... They want to be with you, that you are their other half. And uh, in a sense, they feel like you are their better half, that they're not quite up to your speed, even though we have the King and Queen of Cups. Because I see that with the Six of Cups, Seven, it's like the fact that they just know that their heart belongs to you. They do love you and want to be with you. They fantasize a lot about a future. Uh, they're not willing to take that risk to make this fantasy into a reality. And I see they stayed stuck in their head a lot here. Eight of Swords, Temperance. There was a lot of inconsistency in the situation because they were detaching more and more. They were keeping their truth from you, how they were feeling, hiding everything to the point where this detachment was coming off to an extreme. And you kind of felt like this person was trying to just shove it in your face and make you feel bad at times because I see they made you feel stuck. They made you feel stressed that, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do now to get them to see my perspective, to understand my feelings. Why are they trying to just show me that they don't want to be with me or they're not interested? And that can be very hurtful. And so you had no choice. It's kind of like you didn't have a voice in this situation. And uh, they weren't willing to budge. They definitely ran away from uh, anything that too difficult in the situation. Unwilling to just embrace love or be vulnerable. So what they're about to do, we have five of swords, eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and the chariot. We have an opportunity coming to you where this is going to change the future of this connection and you are going to have a choice now. Everything that you've needed to hear, you are going to hear. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action this is. What they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.